Last year, LG gave up on making modular phones for a more conventional looking G6. Now it's 2018, we've got the LG G7 ThinQ with an even taller and brighter screen. The phone itself has quite a few upgrades over its predecessor. It's powered by the latest Snapdragon 845 processor, more storage and better audio. Just as expected in a premium device like this, the G7 is waterproof but it still retains a headphone jack at the base, eliminating the need to carry around a USB-C dongle adapter. In addition to having a hi-fi DAC, this device also comes with a DTS X 3D surround effect, which is exclusive to LG. It gives the listener virtual surround sound 7.1 when you use any headphone. The G7 will give you a virtual sound surround effect even when you are not playing a content that is coded to have surround sound. It works with all kinds of files from YouTube to SoundCloud. Unlike previous LG phones with power buttons that double as a fingerprint sensor centered at the back, the G7 has a standard power button on the right side of the device. On the left side, you will also find another first time button below the volume rocker. This is a dedicated button for bringing up the Google Assistant. There are three ways to use this button. Pressing the button once brings up the Google Assistant or you can press it and hold it and talk like a walkie talkie so you don't have to keep saying the OK Google word. The third option is to double press it and it will bring up the Google Lens. The screen has increased in size. It's a little bit taller than the G6. The G7 screen is a 6.1 inch display with the MLCD Plus technology. This means that you'll get white pixels as well as red green and blue. The addition of the white pixels allows you to boost up your screen's brightness to a thousand nits when you turn it up to a hundred percent. This gives you an even brighter screen and makes it more readable outside. By now, it's obvious that the G7 has a notch. This is currently trending for all smartphone manufacturers. I don't know why LG called it a second screen as it looks nothing like that of the V10 and the V20. If you don't like the notch, there are various options in the settings that allows you to choose whether to hide that notch by making it black, grey or some gradient colour. You also have the option to select if you want a more rounded corner or not. The G7 comes with what LG calls the boombox speaker. The phone comes with a larger single speaker at the bottom of the device. And LG achieved the loudness on the G7 by turning any space inside the phone into a resonance chamber, making it louder than a standard phone. The boombox speaker also makes the phone's back vibrate and amplifies the sound when placed on a hard surface. Now I'll play some sound samples for you to see what it actually sounds like. LG has finally upgraded its front-facing camera. The G7 now has an 8 megapixel front-facing camera which is great for selfies. There are two 60 megapixel cameras on the back. One is a standard camera while the other is wide-angled. They both work with LG's AI software to predict the best settings for any particular scene. Just like older LG devices with the same camera layout, you can switch between standard and wide angle views. On the camera screen, you have your Google Lens, portrait and AI cam buttons laid out there. Pushing the AI cam button turns on the AI mode and it will display the descriptions of what it thinks it's seeing. The G7 also comes with a super bright camera mode that lets you take brighter pictures even 
when the scene is dark. Thanks to LG's pixel binding technique, where three quarters of the pixels are not used in order to achieve a brighter and sharper image in low light situations. As usual, the LG camera is packed with a ton of manual and automatic features for any class of shooters, be it a professional mobile photographer or those who just want to point and shoot. You can say it basically has an identical camera features like the V30 with the exception of the sign log mode. The camera on the G7 is also capable of recording a 240fps 720p slow motion video. Both front and rear cameras have portrait mode features as seen in recent flagship devices. While the portrait mode results on the rear camera is more consistent, the rear camera does a better job at separating the complex subjects from the background. For people coming from older LG devices, you will just feel at home. The G7 runs Android 8.0 Oreo out of the box on top of its heavily customized UI. LG decided to play it safe by using Google's own assistant this time. The G7 comes with a few preloaded apps like the LG Health, FR Manager, LG's own music and gallery apps, and a couple more. By default, the launcher does not have an app drawer. You can enable the traditional app drawer button or use a swipe up gesture option. Just like its predecessors, the LG Steam Engine allows for further customization with additional wallpapers icon packs, UI themes, and always on display clocks. One of the main changes is that you can now choose between Google Now and LG Smart Bulletin when you swipe left on the home screen. The LG Smart Bulletin is a combination of alerts and reminders as well as automation scenes, LG Health Info, and a music player. The speedy performance of the G7 can be attributed to the powerful Snapdragon 845 chipset clocked at 2.8 GHz. Gaming on this device, application launching and entertainment consumption was totally lag-free with excellent touch response and fast animations. The battery life is good. Don't forget to take your charger with you if you'll be on the road for a day. A 3000 mAh battery will give you about 7 hours of intensive use or a full day of moderate use. LG has baked in a power saving mode into the settings menu to help you identify and kill power draining apps as well as taper down screen brightness and background processes. If you need to juice up your device, the G7's fast charging adapter can rapidly juice up the device via Qualcomm's Quick Charge 4.0 or through wireless charging. To be honest with you, the LG G7 ThinQ is a good phone. It comes with a very bright screen, it's water resistant, has wireless charging, comes with a good sound from a mono speaker, and it still has a headphone jack. The G7 can be listed as another fantastic device from LG. Despite the tall screen, the phone can still be used one handed. Spec wise, the G7 can go toe to toe with any flagship device launched this year. I'll leave a link in the description on how to get the device if you don't own one already or promotions about the device. Once again, it's Mike from TechMyMoney.com. Stay tuned for more.